Shalom Amakim Yahawa Bashem Yavashai Bashem Rakakadash Barakatam Tabalas and salutations to the elders and apostles of Grimstone Ruel and to the Akim Athwat holding on to the testament of Lord Hamashak Yavashai Shalom Bram Nasher DC Camp Another short lesson for the hopeful elect just to uh, help you reflect on the kingdom all right so i'm not sure uh, you know how you say it man this supply chain issues uh <laughs> it's no joke man you saw uh economy all right and with all these uh blockades and sanctions and embargoes and all these um political uh theater it just makes things worse. But you already know that in the kingdom, we're not going to be experiencing all this type of uh, drama. Because when we're in the rulership, when the Lord Hamashiach Yahushai puts the enemy beneath our feet, man, you're going to be having ships <laughs> and caravans of, uh, of uh, resources just coming in, you know, they're going to be paying tribute to us in the kingdom, all right? So Esau is able to exert his authority and flex his muscle, all right, and uh, make people bend to his will. So that shows you that uh, he's in rulership, all right? And when uh, the Lord Hamashiach Yahushai puts us in rulership, guess what we're going to do? We're going to make things flow smoothly. No, uh, no delays, no drama. There'll be no such thing as uh, walk stoppage, protests, unionization, all that stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful uh, experience in the kingdom, and that's what uh, man of the Lord, you know, the prophets. That's what we're looking forward to, you know. And uh, it's gonna be excellent, man. That's why I need to. Uh, Read this precept from the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 60. I'm going to start from verse 4. All right. So it tells, it says this about uh, our future. All right. Isaiah 60, verse 4. Lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons shall come from far and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side so our people are going to be delivered from the four corners of the earth all right and uh, it's going to be beautiful man when you see that multitude that uh, the apostle john saw in the book of Re revelation oh my god you know, it's going to be excellent to see how the lord uh, beautifies us in those uh, in those uh, precious moments all right and then it says in verse 5 then thou shalt see and flow together all right like the sands of the sea <laughs> and then heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee so the resource of uh of the heathen all right they're gonna uh <laughs> they're gonna be making uh supplications to us man they're gonna be paying us tribute all right they're gonna be supplying all types of uh fresh commodities man man from the east from the west from the north from the south because the earth is gonna be renewed right and then in verse uh, 6 says uh, the multitude of camels shall cover thee the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah all day from Sheba shall come they shall bring gold and incense and they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord alright just like our peoples waiting on Esau you know to uh to bring 
you know, goods and services to his uh, economy. Esau's going to be waiting on us too. <laughs> waiting on us, man, to 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 serve, to serve our, you know, serve our pleasure, man, to serve at our pleasure. So it's going to be a beautiful uh, sight in the kingdom, right? Because the Lord has already promised us that uh, our enemy shall serve us, right? And then uh, verse 7 says, All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered unto thee. The rams of Nebajot shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Yeah, so we, we're going to receive all types of resources, man. You know, because uh, the Lord promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that we're going to inherit <laughs> the heathen, you know. So it's going to be excellent, man. It's going to be excellent. And then we jump to uh, verse 10. It says, uh, And the sons of strangers shall beat up their walls. All right. So we're going to have servants in the kingdom. All right. We're going to get slaves. All right. And their kings shall minister unto thee. So the, all the kings of the world, of these other nations, of these Arabs, of these uh, Japanese, these uh, Edomites, you know, these uh, Moabites, they're all going to be our servants in the kingdom. All right. So then it says, And their kings shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor. Have I had mercy on thee. Yeah, so it's going to be good. You know, when you see all these uh, vessels, just bring in resources, man. Bring in all types of uh, fresh produce, man, because the earth will be restored back to its uh, strength. You know, the Lord is going to make that, uh, how you say it, man, it's going to make that... Uh, that vibration of freshness upon the earth happen again, man. It's going to be an eternal uh, vibration of freshness, man, upon the earth. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. You know, because this world is just filled with corruption and pollution. So why should we hold on to it, all right? And then... Uh, Verse 11 says, Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Yeah, so you're going to have field hands, man. You know, these so-called raw childs are going to be working for us in the kingdom. You know, it's... Uh, that's a certainty right there that the Lord has already said it's going to happen. Then verse 12 says, uh, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So they're going to be jacked up when uh, they buck up against uh, <laughs> the decrees of the Lord. Because uh, just like we're serving them, they got to serve us too. You know, it's called balance, all right? So, that time of uh, enjoying delicacies of, uh, of, uh, of, of ruling the world, hey, it has to stop at the, at the point in time that the Lord has uh, appointed, and uh, the Lord has to put in a new uh, ruling ruling class you know a new uh <laughs> a new rulership all right all right so the lord has to uh set uh, us up to rule the world in righteousness and then when you read uh isaiah chapter 49 and read verse 22 and verse 23 it says uh thus said the lord behold i will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, 
and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders all right so they're gonna be escorting us man <laughs> they're gonna be a uh, how you say uh, our entourage you know how you always say uh groupies you know if we need anything they're gonna be like man we gotta get some water you know the the the, the, the prince gotta drink some water you know the the, the the little girl needs some uh needs some fruits she needs some berries, she needs some nectars and all that stuff, you know. So they're going to be at that beck and call in the kingdom, all right. So it's going to be a beautiful uh, setting, all right. And then verse 23 says, And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers, all right. So all these uh, so-called elites living in their palaces and their mansions, the so-called gated uh, estates. Hey, you gotta prepare for uh, a lot of scrubbing <laughs> in the kingdom, man. You know, they're gonna be working in the kitchen, working in the field, working in the pits, you know, just to uh, please our demands, all right? So it's gonna be beautiful, man, you know, because it's only a matter of time. That these things will take place. And king shall be their nursing fathers. And their queens their nursing mothers. You know. They are working as gardeners. Landscapers. You know. They shall bow down to thee. With their face toward the earth. And lick up the dust of thy feet. And they shall know that I am the Lord. How Bashimashai Bashimakadash. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So when we wait upon the Lord, man, all these top-notch, you know, uh, elites of this world, they're going to be working as our servants in the kingdom. So why are we in a rush to get rich in this kingdom? That's not uh, going to benefit us, all right? So let me play this clip real quick product is stuck because of the long wait times. One grower tells Ken's Five Border reporter Anastasia Bolton the cost of food will go up. To understand what's happening now at the Texas-Mexico border, why truckers in Mexico are protesting, shutting down an international bridge in FAR, for example. Texas will be taking... We have to take you back to last week and Governor Greg Texas. Abbott's announcement. Effective immediately. The Texas Department of Public Safety will conduct enhanced safety inspections of vehicles as they cross the international points of entry into Texas. Now yeah, so in the kingdom, we don't have to, we don't have to worry about all this, uh, you know, Department of uh, Transportation, you know, Department of Public Safety, all that stuff <laughs> will be a thing of the past, all right, because, uh, hey, you know, put all the things in, in place, man. The standard will be set, you know. So we're going to rule with the rod of iron. That's why um, Revelation chapter 2, you know, is a good uh, reflection of uh, what the Lord is going to allow to happen, all right? Because the Lord has to let the world get uh, a taste of righteousness, you know, forever. <laughs> So Revelation 2 verse 26 uh, say this, says this, all right? I'll start with verse 25, Revelation 2 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come, all right? Which is this testament of the Lord, the proper breakdown of the gospel, all right? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, all right? So, we're going to have power over these nations, all right? The elect will have power over the nations, all right? And they're going to be serving us, man. Serving us. Serving us. You know, they're going to be supplying stuff day and night, all right? It's going to be excellent, man, all right? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a porter shall they be broken to shivers, even as... I received of my father, 
Yeah, so we're going to rule with strictness, man. There'll be no room for folly. All right, we're going to be about strictly business. And that's the mindset of uh, of uh, of having the perfect rulership, man. There is no time for, uh, for lollygagging, man. When you're about business, you're about business from A to Z, all right? So that's what we're looking forward to, man. We're looking forward to ruling the world with that rod of iron that the Lord will bless us with, right? That's uh, power, you know. These folks, they don't understand anything else besides power, right? And uh, the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 65, read verse 21, it tells you this. This is what's going to happen to us in the kingdom. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. All right. So we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor, man. All right. We won't have to be worrying about all these, uh, you know, jungle, jungle madness of Babylon anymore. So you're going to see how uh, the Lord will bless us, man. So. Let's play the clip some more. I know in advance this is going to dramatically slow traffic from Mexico into Texas. The governor was right. Um, You're looking at three, four, five days of delays. Brett Erickson Um, helps run Little Bear Produce, a grower, packer, and shipper based in the Rio Grande Valley. These delays cost us a tremendous amount of money in terms of quality, uh, in terms of planning, uh, shifting our people around to be able to um, adapt to what's happening. The Texas Department of Public Safety says it's always inspected vehicles at the ports, all of them. And that's why we continue to see increases in smuggling uh, situations where they're using different tactics. Most recently, commercial vehicles. And that's why the governor made that announcement, not only to crack down on these organizations and the smuggling attempts, but also to make sure these commercial vehicles are safe to operate on Texas roadways. Nothing. Yeah, so there'll be no more smuggling in the kingdom, man, you know, because we're going to be in control, all right? So all that, uh, you know, our people worried about uh, their future shouldn't be a, a major concern. They should be glad that the Lord of Mashiach, Kawasha, has given us the victory. Yeah, so, you know, we're on that path, you know, of victory. In fact, we're already winning, okay? So expect... Uh, more victory, you know, as the Lord uh, blesses us more with his wisdom, all right? So the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 65 verse 22 says this, They shall not build and another inhabit, all right? So whatever we set our hand to, we're going to occupy, you know? There will be no such thing as uh, the enemy trying to take over, <laughs> Uh, the scripture says that iniquity should not raise its head the second time. So these Edomites are going to be done for in the kingdom. They're going to forever remain uh, servants. And after the, they've served their term of captivity, there's going to be a mass uh, extermination. You know, So that's how the Lord has set it up. All right, so 0, 65, 22, they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of a tree are the days of my people right for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands what else what else are we you know whining and uh, worrying about, man. The Lord has already said the elect, his elect, all right, shall long enjoy the work of their hands. So the work, you know, of serving the Lord and Mashiach, Yahushua, is going to be deeply uh, rewarded in the kingdom, all right? Verse 23 says, They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed. Of the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Abshai, Bashim Akadash, and their offspring with them. So it's going to be excellent, man, when you see how the Lord 
will make uh, his name glorious in that day. All right. So uh, final precept, the book of Joel chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse 23 to uh, verse 26. It says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord in how your power. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first months. And the flowers shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Mm, mm, mm. So we're going to be a, a blessed nation, man. We're going to have resources upon resources, man. You know, in addition to spiritual power, we're going to have fertile land, man. You know, the, the whole world will be a fertile place, except a.k.a. America, man. <laughs> Babylon the Great, you know. So we're going to be so blessed, all right? And then... Uh, Verse 25 says this, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm. Yeah, so all what we've lost to Esau's uh, greed and uh, tyrannical system, the Lord is going to restore to us in the kingdom. All right, we're going to be able to enjoy our children, you know, the relationship between the man and his wives is going to be excellent. You know, the brotherhood is going to come back, you know, to to uh, to perfection, all right? Then it says, my great army, which I send among you. So all those uh, years that uh, we've lost, that uh, Esau has been able to uh, rob us of, the Lord is going to restore that unto us in the kingdom, all right? Verse 26 says, And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord, the power, your power, that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Yeah, so that's what uh, we're looking forward to, man. You know, so it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful when you see how the Lord make things work. We don't have to deal with Esau anymore, you know, stealing, <laughs> stealing your products, you know, conniving, you know, bringing, uh, uh, how you say it, uh, uh, usurers, uh, loans and all that stuff, man. There'll be no more usury, you know, or how you say oppression among our people, you know. Esau will be out, <laughs> Esau will be kicked to the curb where he belongs so it's only a matter of time that it happens so that's the point there I came you know so all that you know the resources that uh, people are worried about in the kingdom you won't have to because the Lord that my Shachar will take care of us alright so that's the point there I came the Lord that my Shachar will take care of us in the kingdom alright Shalom